Hello traders, this video is for everyone who watches or trades or wants to learn more about post-market trading and pre-market trading. Now this is the trading that occurs before the market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, so maybe 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. these hours, or after the market closes at 4 p.m. Eastern time, so 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. You can chart these unique hours on TradingView when a small number of participants are trading. The first thing we're going to observe here is that we are looking at a chart of symbol LEN, and that's because they just reported earnings, so we can watch some after-hours trading right now. Firstly, you'll see we are on a daily chart. Now, when you're on a daily chart, you won't be able to see these special hours because it's not a time interval that's going to allow for that to fit in. After all, a daily chart starts at the open and ends at the close. So why don't we adjust our time interval to a 30 minute interval? Now, each candle represents 30 minutes of trading. And what you'll notice is we've got these shaded areas here. And you guessed it, these shaded areas represent pre-market trading and post-market trading. And we're going to show you how you can read into that even more. Pay attention. First of all, though, please know that when you do go to, say, a 30-minute time interval, as we did just now, there's a button at the bottom right of the chart where it literally says extended hours trading or regular hours trading. Now, if we turn this back to regular hours trading and we're on a 30-minute chart, it eliminates the sessions. So these pre-market or post-market sessions are now gone. So you don't always have to analyze them if you don't want to. But if you do click this button and then select extended hours trading, you'll see it now appear on your chart. So let's talk about what these mean. You can see the size of them is determined by how much trading happened in that period of time. We are recording this video from New York City, and you can actually see the first blue here, and right where this candle starts, is 4 p.m. Eastern, then 4.30 then five. So you can see the time at the bottom of the chart here that's moving with our mouse. So we can see every trade at each hour based on this 30 minute candles. Keep in mind, if we went to say a one minute or five minute chart, we could do the same thing and watch how it traded in those after hour sessions. In addition, to really illustrate what this means, we can look at volume. So volume will also work on these sessions. What's always very interesting about this is look how little volume there is here. That is not much volume at all. So while there are trades happening, you'll notice the volume is nowhere near what happens in a daily session when the market really opens. So this is one way also to think about after hours trading, pre-market or post-market, is there are just more people involved when the market is officially open. Now, by the way, this company, LEN, did just report earnings. So what we are going to do is we're going to go to our chart settings, events, and we're going to check the earnings button here. Now that we've checked the earnings button, we can see the E is right here. We can click this to see the earnings event and what happened. In addition, we can see that earnings were reported right in this shaded blue area. So we can see that as well. But let's say we want to make this chart a different look and feel, a different color. Well, it's pretty important to know that when you go to the symbol, you get to decide exactly what color you want the pre and post market hours to be. Also, you can always tell when a symbol is closed in the post market by observing this moon, and it will be more of a sun in the morning if it's pre market. You can hover your mouse over this icon to know. Remember, if the market's open, you're going to see a green dot up here. You've probably seen that already a number of times. Keep in mind that pre and post, thus the first color is pre-market. By default, it's orange. Think of a sun setting. And then post here, so the second color is this blue. Think of a sun, sorry, a sun rising, a sun rising orange here. And then the blue is the sun setting, the sky is getting darker. And we can not change these colors, though, and the opacity of them. Look at this. Now we can't miss the post-market session at all. Or perhaps you may not even want to see the sessions because you just consider it all one giant data point and one giant chart. For this reason, though, let's keep it orange and let's make it a little brighter because that's the point of this chart. So remember, orange is pre-market trading. You can see here 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. We can track the trades. And post-market trading is this blue here. 
And there we are. And now we can see 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m., 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. The choice is hours. Keep in mind that you can really see the time zone here depending on if you have your time zone correct. Time zone, New York, UTC, New York. Also pay attention to the bottom here as well where the time zone is also selected. So what we've done now is we're in New York City recording this video. The market is closed. We've changed the colors to reflect the pre-market and post-market hours we want to see. We also now know the company just reported earnings and we can watch this in real time. In fact, let's even go into a one minute chart and see these earnings happen live. You can see here, wow, that was quite a bit of volume right there. We can track it all the way up into the earnings report here, and there's a slight volume pickup here, but not much. There was an interesting earnings reaction as well. But the point of this video really is to show you how to access pre-market and post-market hours. And by the way, it gets even better. So let's click the daily chart here. And now let's right click and let's go to settings. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our scales and lines. And now that we're in our scales and lines, there are some additional ways we can chart pre and post market. You can see it's hidden now, but we can have the line and the value selected and we get to decide what color we want. Once again, orange for pre, blue for post. Now, as we click the X here, what we observe is that we have the post market right here at 163. So while we are looking at a daily chart and can't see the trading action in the post or pre-market, we've just enabled these precise values to see what is happening in the post market. And we have the line going across our chart. And naturally, the choice is ours. If we would prefer to just have a a, a, a no line and just the value, we can do that. Or maybe no value and just the line, we can do that as well. So the point of this video, ladies and gentlemen, is to walk you through pre-market and post-market sessions, how you can access them and the information you can get. So you've really gotten a full overview of what is happening here, how to change the colors, how to read the colors, how to understand the time where the training's happening within the time frame, how to add volume to really measure if there's training activity, and then lastly, the capability to do regular trading hours or extended trading hours, which is really going to kick off your research process as you learn this. If you have any additional questions or comments, please reach out to us in the comments below. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And our help center has a ton of more information and helpful articles that will get you started. But for the most part, this video is going to get you grounded in pre-market trading and post-market trading, showing you what you need to see these unique time trading sessions, decide the color you want, the look and feel, the capability to see it, how it relates to an earnings report, and so much more. So we hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you all later.